days to go on. There goes right off Half Creek out here. That was intense. That's a town deer right there, that eight-pointer. Oh, it's a town deer. That's there right off, um, well, I mean, uh, probably um, over on Half Creek. Shoot, it's only probably uh, a mile and a half, a mile and three quarters or so from my house. Wow. On oh, Happy Creek. <laughs> and you know, uh, Jimmy, uh -huh. I didn't show you everything. What happened? You shot that one there and two does too. No way. Oh yeah, he had three. I, I had to help him cut all uh, all that up. He had oh. a trip loop. Wow. And uh, and after <laughs> after he had a trip load truck load of deer and all there and. And somebody run into him today and, and messed his truck up. I told him, I said, man, that's your meat truck. Man. But anyway, I can't even keep the hunting season uh, pretty much squared away in my head there. Because he hunts all the time. Oh, yeah, he always hunts. And he does do the black powder, you know, when he comes in. He goes out with Dalton. But he yeah. very seldom ever uses rifles. The only time he uses rifles is like I'm um, going out and backing um, Dalton up. You know, if he makes a bad shot or something on a whitetail and all there, he'll finish him off. And especially he's with him there when he's bear hunting. I'll tell you one thing, Jeff, there's some big deer over in Rappahannock County. It's a big, quite a few big ones there. It's just a damn bear. It's just carrying them off down there. Yeah. I shot a deer. It's been, uh, it's been a long, it's, well, it's been over 30 years ago. I shot a, a, a big, a, a big pin over there right behind, uh, hmm. Amos, uh, not Amosville, but uh, Little Washington. Up on that mountain. Huh? Well, this deer here, he took the eight pointer uh, about a week before he seen this eight. And, uh, he was actually sizing him up to take him. And a seven-pointer came in, and they got into it. And he sat there in the tree stand and watched them fight. And sometimes they'll kill each other. They'll get locked up in the horns, and they'll lay there, both of them die. Oh, yeah. Oh, they was kicking their heels up pretty good, but they didn't really hurt each other. But that seven-pointer, he said that uh, he was... <laughs> He said he was going to go get that one in the morning there, Jimmy, but I don't think he's going to get out of bed. I don't think he's going to move tomorrow. You're going to have to call him. Well, I will. <laughs> I'll ask him, is, are you sitting in the tree stand? We get into that 10, 12, 14 point murder. Those are the smart deer of the way. And those smart deer, they, they they know when hunting season comes in, everybody's going bang, 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 setting, you know, tuning things in. They go they go to the top of the mountain, lay down that mountain wall. I just had one over here in Half Creek there a few years back. There was a 14 pointer over there, a beautiful deer. And that sucker was in town, and he would actually hang around the freaking graveyard over there. Hmm. You see him. You see him when you go down half the creek. When you first went, you won. I mean, he was still in town. But as you go down towards half the creek, you go out there towards um, Howesville and down to the river, Sandbow River. That sucker would be just actually just hanging right around that cemetery. And, uh, of course, when the boys got the okay and all there, you know, start hunting in town and all there, and I don't know. I don't know if one of them got that deer or not there, but he disappeared, so I kind of think one of them kind of took him out. That was a beautiful deer. You don't see too many 14-pointers. 
Uh -huh. I got one in my woods. So I I love them. Well, it's he's interesting because he's you know, they usually are shot before they get that many horns. You know, they always get the more horns they have. Sometimes, you know, it depends on what they're eating. Oh, okay. Because he never, ever... Oh, he's got 14 points. It's strange. Stevie Dodson's got a... Um, it's either 16 or 18. I should know because, my God, man, I've been in that house so many times. No, it's for DOG. And for TSC 10. But K -K -K. that son of a gun, I mean, it, it's like, you know, 16, 18 points or so, there, but it looks like a uh, looks like a sticker bush. I mean, it's nothing pretty about the rack. It's just, you know, a bunch of points on there, but... No doubt about it. It's either either 16 or 18. It's it's like a sticker bush. Wow. Yeah, I stopped over by my uncle Paul's today, and I pulled in here, and it was there was two turkey, and. There was a deer, a doe on the other side. They were down, they were it, and they were in the cornfield. And the doe, there was a mother and a doe, and they were on the soybean side. <laughs> and and I, I'm knocking on the door and I'm screaming, hey, get out. And he comes on, I go, look at the turkey. The turkey just stood there. I thought they were fake. They, they didn't even move. I, I said, two females, you know, big, real big. He goes, what the hell? I go, I said, they're not moving. He goes, I don't know, what the hell? I go, I don't know. So I went over there and I started playing around with his, that car mall, that Super M. <laughs> I had to, I had to tighten all the damn ground rods, ground bullshit on there again, because none of the stuff's right, because it's, it's got terrible grounding. You got to... I, I, I went over there last time with a bottle of blue Loctite and I put it upstairs up in the shelf and I pulled the blue Loctite out and I had a Loctite every damn thing again with the blue. It's, it's got grounding problems on that damn Super M. But them turkeys stayed there most of the whole time when I was there. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> You know, and they start doing that, that's, that's when they're friendly, you know? They get friendly. Dude, them wild turkeys out there, Troy's, they just go from one freaking, uh, you know, um, field to the other out there. They walk right across the road in front of you, and all of them, they, they get wild turkey, but they're tame. I mean, if you, you know, run up on them or something like that, and they'll just get on with it, but it ain't, it ain't like a wild turkey you see in the woods, because as soon as they see you back, you man, they're gone, but you saw guns, I mean... You got to stop sometime on the road to go to Troy's. I mean, they've been walking across the road. Yeah. You know what's really weird? You know, I see all the pe you know, you see all the female. You never, I don't ever see any time. It's strange. I don't see any time. When I, when I would go up to L's, it was very, very rare. I would see like 15, 20 females. I would never see any times. You know, they'd be, they'd be like way in the hiding. And over here, same thing. You never see the times. They're never out. It's like a book. Send a doe out through a field and all there to check it out. Yep. Yeah, all you got to do is watch that tail. Man. If that doe's talking to one, that she'll flip her. She'll flip that tail and he's back here. Yep. That's all you got to watch. What did you say, Brian? Was that Brian? No, it wasn't me. Somebody else out there. Oh, there's people talking in the distance. I can't hear who the hell they are. I heard somebody say something. I, I thought it was Brian, but it wasn't Brian. I think you're on business band frequency. Well, Brian, you're going hunting here soon, aren't you? Yeah, I've been hunting. Oh, have you? And last night he fell asleep on the floor while we were 
<laughs> While we were all talking. Sounds like something you used to do. Well, I never fell asleep on the floor. I just passed out on my desk. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's a whole big bunch on there. Uh, they usually start, now they, st uh, Lee and Keith and them start early in the morning, because they all morning people. But then Bruce and David get on late in the afternoon and stay on till like, uh, one of David's television programs comes on, they get off around 8 o'clock. Well, Lee, we used to, Lee used to get on with me and, and, uh, and, uh, Boyd and Lloyd and play, uh, pool. Yeah. Or they're on in the morning on 146.48. They still play pool on the radio like we used to do? Uh, I don't have a pool cue that small. No, it was on the computers. Oh, okay. How'd you all do that? His screen, which, yeah, I think it was under Yahoo or through Messenger. Screen would come up, you'd take your shot. Did you all get a letter from Yahoo the other day? No, I haven't received nothing from them. Why? Uh, they're disbanding their groups. All of them. Really? Yeah. Well, they might as well. It, 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 Yahoo ain't nothing but a, form, a shadow of its former self. Yeah, that's true. So they did away with all the games. What, three or four or five years ago? Well, they said there's not enough uh, activity on the groups to warrant keeping it open, so they're shutting it all down. Huh. Yeah, I want the Facebook in there, Eric. Yeah, I think so. You know, at one time, those two boys that uh, opened uh, or started Yahoo was offered millions and millions and millions of dollars through the bunch from Facebook. And they wouldn't take it? They turned him down. What fool? I used to throw a few of the groups on the job with my bill, Barry. Oh, yeah. I'm, I was a member of 10 or 12 of them, at least. I know I was on a few of the groups. Yeah, I was on several of the digital groups. and A two-meter group and a six-meter group, the SWAT and the SWAT. The yeah, it has sidewinders on too, and uh, six meters uh, international radio club. Irk and SWAT. Well, I know the solar flux index has really been high. Is that a good thing? Uh, a lot better than it was. <laughs> Yeah, the van's been in fairly good shape here lately. What's the plus ten deck that now? So I'm getting ready to find out here in just a minute. Do they still make flux capacitors? Yeah, I've got one right here. You want me to send one to you? Yeah. All right, here it is. Go. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's a big thing. No, you couldn't have gotten it yet. I sent it in the future. <laughs> Ninety-three. Ninety-three? Ninety-three. No wonder. Can we uh, see the, the Aurora Borealis? I've never seen it. From here to where I live in Kentucky, I have never seen it. I used to see it all the time when I was a kid in Michigan. It's because you're living on the wrong side of the mountain, Eric. No, they, everybody else says they've seen it from time to time. I have never seen it here. That's because you're living on the wrong side of the mountain, Eric. Well, I I'm, I'm, have northern exposure. Well, I thought you were going to say something about television program now. Never saw it. It was a good show. That's what I hear. I have.
I've got a great northern exposure from th this, and there's nothing higher. After you get over this knob, there's nothing higher to the north. To, I don't know how far. And <laughs> Yeah, I've heard other people say that. They say, oh, yeah, we see it, but maybe from northern Kentucky, but I'm kind of like south central Kentucky, and I have to never see it. Yes, yeah, sir? They got some Hustler BTV traps on uh, QRZ right now. Oh, really? Yeah. That might be a good thing. Oh, on QRZ? Yeah. I'll have to look those up. Are they, they want an arm and a leg? Four, five, and six uh, ETV traps. Huh. There's one 30-meter, uh, one 20-meter, both with clamps. Don't fight me, don't I don't have a 30-meter one. $35 each. Interesting. I might go look at that. Go to yours there right now. Okay. M4VER. Are we to be 4HFR? We're going to be 4HMQ. KC4LGM. Alright, go look at the, my post on our Facebook. I'm already there. That's my daughter. Oh yeah, I've seen her before. Very pretty daughter. Thank you. So she takes after her mom, huh? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I won't even argue that point with you. There you go. And yes, Dan, she's married. I know, I've seen her picture. Oh, okay. Is this a recent picture, Jim? Y'all been flying? Uh, a couple of years ago, she did a angel flight. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Had like a solo flight? No, that's um, that's when you it's like almost like air ambulance. Oh, okay. But it's, it's a charity. All right. Notice the tail wing number. Uh, I'm not on the page. Oh, yeah. All I can see is the N555. JG. Oh, okay. How'd you arrange that? The file for it. Oh, okay. There's a baby that, uh, that was at Fort Stewart, and this guy was like an E6, I guess, staff sergeant. So he was an E5, E6, I forgot. But um, uh, his baby was less than a year old and going through its like fourth or fifth open heart surgery. Wow. And so uh, it needed to go quickly, so uh, it was a it was an angel flight and so yeah I'll, uh, I'll show you some pictures of the kid. All right.
appreciate hearing from you. 73 is to you, Pete. God bless you. Have yourself a real fine weekend. And I know I'll be talking to you again real, real soon. KE5 GGY from W4FCW. Well, let's see if Sparrow Bush is hanging around. Tom, KMQ, are you out there, Tom? Okie dokie. gets late, I get kind of dizzy. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, been listening uh, to everybody. Everybody's coming in good. Uh, not much new up here. It's still 43 degrees. Uh, no rain, no snow, no sleet. So it's a good night. And tomorrow it's supposed to be warm again, so that's good. So, uh, other than that, everything is uh, pretty much okie-dokie. We'll say 73s to all you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for picking me up on the 73s round. And uh, as always, as always, it's great to be a freewheeler. With that, KD2EMQ, we'll uh, toss it right back to you, Rob. Well, all right, Tom. My golly, I'm glad you were in there. Good to hear you again. Good to uh, say good night to you. You take care of yourself up there in Sparrow Bush. I look forward to talking to you again real, real soon. You sounded real good after you got that amplifier turned on. KD2 EMQ 73 from W4FCW. Let's go back to New Philadelphia. Pick up Doug. KD8 WUX 73 time, Doug. He might have went to sleep. KD8WUX. Well, we'll say 73 to Doug. Let's go to Temple, Texas. Bill. W5WHK. Bill Ron, W5WHK. I still made it. I'm still here. <laughs> I was about to drop off a little bit, but not, not too bad. I'm watching some stuff on the YouTube and listening on the radio, and I heard just about everybody in the... Uh, I think it's, uh, it's really a nice, quiet night on the net, so, uh, hey, uh, it's, it's sounding good. Anyway, yeah, I would uh, say, uh, Jimmy, if you're out a little softer listening, we're thinking about you, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's tough to go through, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, we just losing a loved one there. Uh, anyway, that's, that's just for us. But anyway, uh, and uh, Randy and uh, Kevin and uh, Ron, uh, you, Ron, you do an excellent job, and Kevin, uh, Riding along, and Randy riding along, always having a good fun with Randy. He's always a barrel of laughs. I'll tell you what, that Randy, he's just a, he's just a one big old barrel of laughs. <laughs> we really appreciate him for sure. Anyway, everybody else out there, you're, you're sounding good. So uh, anyway, uh, and I guess I heard you talking about the uh, Santa Man. I guess I need to uh, <clears throat> practice my ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we'll try that anyway. <laughs> Somebody needs to practice their whole ho ho right. Anyway, y'all have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you here later on. And, uh, well, not later on tonight, but, uh, well, maybe later on today. So it's already, yes, Saturday. So, anyway, good evening to everybody, and uh, it's great to be a free wheeler. Y'all have a good night. Uh, W4FCW, this is W5, WHK. Everybody have a good night. All right, by golly, Bill. Thanks for being in here and riding along. Thank you for helping out earlier, too. Uh, sometimes it takes a village to run the net, and I've got a lot of great people out there helping me with relays. You're one of them, Bill. You have yourself a real fine weekend. Always good to hear you. It sounded great tonight. 73 is Bill. W4, uh, W5, WHK from W4FCW. Thank you, Bill. You take care, buddy. Good night, Ron. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bill. Good night, Randy. All right. Well, let's go to Woodstock to pick up Kevin. KC9CML, 73 times. All right. This is KC9CML, Kevin, up here in northern Illinois. Yeah, boy, what a net tonight. Everybody is sounding good. Uh, Ron, you were 40 over it a couple times there, and, uh, yeah, the band is uh, definitely doing its job tonight, so... Yeah, everybody sounded good. Randy, uh, Bill, uh, Stevens out there. I think Stevens still out there. But uh, yep, uh, Ron, holy cow, it's just just amazing tonight. But uh, 
Yeah, you guys need to practice up on your uh, ho 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 things, uh, depending on what kind of ho 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 you're talking about. But uh, thought I'd throw that out there just to see if I get a laugh. But uh, everything's good up here. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed riding along. I'll throw it back at you, Ron W4FCW. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Yeah, I chuckled. I did, by golly. I chuckled. Thank you for being there. Thank you, Kevin, for all you do, buddy. You're doing a great job for us. Just an excellent job. I love you running uh, net logger, and uh, you do a great job helping me pick people up, too. You take care, Kevin. Well, <clears throat> this is going to be the end of the video. I'm just doing a little bit of 80 slash 75 meters ham here. Uh... Yeah, if you don't mind, just like the video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try to do more videos, something like this, and some shortwave programs and stuff. Uh, I won't be able to do the VORW program anymore, but I can pick out other stuff that I can do shortwave. Uh, like I said, if you want more stuff like this... Or if you can think of something else that you might like, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and like I said, please subscribe. Thank you.